Hello, I'm Steve. This is Bit of Munch. And it's time for a lunch with Mr. Munch. And today I've got some soup. I've got a soup I got from Sainsbury's. And it's got on it, love your veg! Exclamation mark. So that's, a, that's a surprise, is it, that you should love your veg? They're shouting at you, isn't it? Love your veg! It's telling you to love your veg. <laughs> I might not, not want, might not want to love my veg. I'm not having a can tell me to love my veg. Anyway, what's the soup, Steve? It is Indian-style cauliflower potato and spinach soup. It says source of fibre, low fat, mild. Right, the main ingredient in this is water. And then you've got 17% cauliflower, 10% potato, 5% spinach, lentils, uh, so there's loads, I'm not going to read you all the ingredients because you'll fall asleep. Mango chutney, creamed coconut, and that's the main smell I'm getting at the moment, is creamed coconut. This was 80 pence, did I tell you that? I don't know if I did or not, it was 80 pence from Sainsbury's. Right, let's, uh, ah, let's show you the soup, there's the soup. Doesn't look particularly ap appetising, I have to say. Um, are you, are you level there? I don't know if you are or not, but there we go, that's the best I can do at the moment. Right, yeah, um, oven gloves, because it's hot. Right, the delicate manoeuvre of getting this onto one oven glove, and there we go. Right, give it a stir. See some bits of potato there, nice big chunks of potato. Now this is quite thin and watery. Because the main ingredient is water. But they're not going to put that on the description, are they? <laughs> Indian style water soup. Mmm, doesn't that sound tasty? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's still coconut. Oh, my glasses have steamed up now. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Right, yeah, my glasses have steamed up now. Um, I've already said that. I'll say it again, shall I? No, I won't. There is quite a bit of potato in this. Right. I've got some bread and butter ready, which you probably noticed when I showed you the soup. So, let's have a go at this Indian-style... What was it? I've forgotten already. Cauliflower, potato and spinach. And water. And I've dribbled it down my shirt already. Look at that. That's why I wore a black t-shirt. <laughs> I've learnt my lesson. Well, I say I have. I'll probably forget at some point. But when I have something that's a bit... I might dribble, then I'll wear a dark dark t-shirt. That first spoonful was very underwhelming, I have to say. Hmm, quite thin, quite watery, very coconutty. Very, very mild. I don't think there's any chilly heat there whatsoever. Mm. Right, let's see what this potato's like. I don't like potato in a soup. I like the, the um, Heinz uh, leek and potato, they do. I really like that. Don't have it very often. Don't fancy it very often, but it's really nice. Mmm, nice bit of potato. But... Would I buy this again? As I said, I'm still underwhelmed by it. The main taste, as I said, is coconut. And that is the predominant taste, and the, the dominant taste as well. You can't taste much else. 
Are you getting vague hints of all the other Indian spices in it? Considering all the ingredients on there, this should have more taste, but it hasn't. Right, I'll have one more spoonful. Then I'm going to dunk some bread in it, see what that's like. Right, put that one off down. As usual, I'll squish my bread together. This is a little wholemeal bread, wholemeal farmhouse. It's really nice bread, but they're incredibly thick slices, really thick. Right, break some bread up. I'm breaking the bread up now, putting it in the soup, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, because you can't see. Breaking the squished up bread and putting it in the soup. And licking the butter off my fingers that squeezed out when I squished it. Right, can I hold that now without the oven gloves? But yes, I can. Right, I'll tell you, it's going to fill me up, if nothing else. Because they said this bread is so thick. Two slices of it in this. I do like squished up bread and butter in soup. But there's an awful lot better soups out there to squish your bread into than this one. So, Sainsbury's, Indian style cauliflower potato and spinach soup, 80 pence. Yes, it was cheap, and it tastes cheap. I wouldn't buy that again. I've reviewed of quite a few soups. You can have a look at the playlist if you want to, see what other ones I've done. And I've done some really good ones. That ain't one of the good ones, believe me. Right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button, and perhaps subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll see you in the next video.